Keaton is with us in Metropolis, Illinois. Hi, Keaton. How are you? Hey, Dave. Thanks for having me on the show. Sure. What's up? Uh, so, yeah, a little bit of background. Um, I own a custom woodworking business. We specialize in uh, dining room table sets primarily, and I have uh, four employees, including myself. And last year we did um, about $300,000 in overall revenue. Excellent. And uh, my question is, um, I've hired employees older than me, and I'm kind of struggling with a dynamic between the, the age range. Um, and I'm trying to kind of gain respect and trust with some of my older employees. Hmm. Uh, how old are you? 23. Okay. And how old are they? Uh, range from anywhere from late 20s to uh, early 50s. Okay. All right. But you own the business, and when mm -hmm. they came to work there, you owned the business, and they knew that? Yes. Okay. All right. And so where would they be losing respect? Because they had enough respect to sign up. Yeah, and um, it has a lot to do with just like, um, I don't want to say taking orders, but uh, um, just um, overall, uh, just me kind of telling them what to do. I don't think um, they kind of trust me whenever... I tell them like, hey, you know, let's sand a table this way or hey, let's let the flies and finish this way. Um, I think they kind of have a, a lack of confidence in myself um, because I have been doing this. I'm only 23, but I have been uh, building furniture now for about seven years. So uh, Okay, so if you, if you tell me, I'm 63, you tell me how to sand a table one way mm -hmm. and you own the business, why would I question that? Are you saying you don't have confidence? I'm saying I'm, I'm, I don't think a lot of them have, have confidence in myself. Oh. As okay. far as like leading them on. On the actual time. production process. Yes. Yeah. Okay. All right. And some of these guys have, you know, former experience, um, mm -hmm. not necessarily like what we yeah. do, but different carpentry um, yeah. skills and stuff like that. So they've been around the trade somewhat. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, I, I think, um, you know, what you've got to establish here is not um, – uh, no, number one, that you're competent, um, mm -hmm. and um, it, and and you can always there's any time you're leading, whether it's leading older or younger, it never hurts to be curious. It never hurts to ask questions. It never hurts to draw them in and pull them rather than push them. Bossing mm -hmm. someone around doesn't work with any dynamic. Bosses push, leaders pull. We say that all the time around here. And so uh, whether you're leading someone older or not. And so, uh, you know, my son Daniel is the president of Ramsey, and there's quite a few people older than him that report to him. And so in some cases, they do know something technically that he doesn't know. Or some of the people I they report to me, they know all the people that do web coding know something technically that I don't know. All the people whose computer works know something that I don't know because mine never works. So, you know, it, it's I can be pretty humble instantly about those things and say, okay, you have a, a knowledge base that I don't have and I want to be curious about it. I want to learn how this works. I want to learn how your brain works while you're thinking through this. And so, for instance, if you sit down and say, okay, the way we're going to sand a table at this company because I've been doing it a long time and people trust me is, and, and this I'm very comfortable with is this way. This is the way we're going to do the sanding on the table. Now, if you've got some input on something like that and you want to tell me, that's cool. I'll, I'll try to learn from you, but you also need to know that I've got a way of doing things that got us to this point. And so I do know how to do this thing, okay? And, and yep. um, now I can learn something more. I, you know, I got a lot of years to learn yet, and maybe you can teach me something from your former place, or maybe you can just do it the way we're supposed to do it. Because this is what we all said we're going to do. Because the, the customers that are coming in here, they're coming in here because of my previous work, not yours. They're expecting the quality that I produce, and the way I produced that quality was using this process of sanding, or this process of staining, or whatever it is. And so that's what they're expecting. Now, if you can help me see there's a more efficient way to get there or something, I'll learn from you. But in the meantime, we're going to do it that way because that's what the customers have been giving me money for that gave me money to give you money. Mm -hmm. okay. And, you know, we could just talk about that. And you can be, you know, I, I would start out curious, asking questions, very gentle in these conversations, but then I would turn it up. Now, anytime you really need to turn it up hot, you need to pull them to the side, not 
be in earshot or eye range of the other team. So don't rebuke an old timer in front of everybody else. You'll lose them forever. Okay. So all rebukes are done in private. All all harsh correction or 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 tough correction wouldn't be harsh, but tough correction is done in private. Um, otherwise, you'll lose them forever. Particularly a craftsman, because they don't put up with that crap. They don't put up with being embarrassed or or called out in front of their peers and that kind of stuff. And but you go, okay, look, you know, you may have done this a better way, a different way. I'll learn all that, but you need to understand, I'm really comfortable with doing it this way. And if we're going to do it another way, I got to really know why, because the customer has been expecting the quality that I've been putting out before you came here. And that's just you leaning back into your competency and your confidence. And then they can either join up for that because you're kind of saying, this is the way we do it here. And if you want to be a we, we say, we send the table this way. You may not want to be a we. You may want to be somewhere else, but this, if you're going to be here, this is, unless you show me a better way that I believe in, but I'm really comfortable with this is the way we need to do this. And so, anyway, that, that's the process I would use if I were in your shoes, is ask a lot of questions, be curious, lean back on the customer has an expectation, the company has an expectation of quality. Quality is produced by A plus B, and I'm really good at A plus B. Now, let's work from there. This is the Entree Leadership Podcast.